iPhone brand Honor has said it plans to release a smartphone with dual front and dual rear cameras later this month. The company did not say much about the upcoming handset in its statement, but did mention the next smartphone is tailor-made for the selfie lovers with dual front cameras. However, there is no official word yet on the other key features as well as the price bracket the model will be positioned in. The company already has a few smartphones with four cameras in the market. In India itself, the Honor 9i has been released at Rs. 17,999 with dual front and rear cameras. Considering it has explicitly mentioned the four cameras, it is expected the brand will launch the Honor 9 Lite in late January. It was unveiled in China in December 2017, and went on sale later the same month. At the time of the launch, Honor had mentioned it will be released in 14 more countries, including India, Russia, and the UK. It is yet to hit markets other than China, so India may be the starting point for the global release. Days after hitting the sales record of 40 million Honor X series units, Huawei's Eyes Honor brand on Monday rolled out the Honor Blockbuster days to offer discounts on the Honor 7X, Honor 8 Pro, Honor 9i, and Honor 6X. The sale will run until January 12th on Amazon.in and Flipkart. The Chinese company has also unveiled a new variant of the Honor 7X, a limited edition red color option, that is set to arrive in India soon, the firm confirmed. Samsung Electronics on Friday announced the launch of the Samsung Notebook 7 Spin, 2018, ahead of CES 2018. The Notebook 7 Spin, 2018, will retain the 360-degree rotating touchscreen from the first generation, apart from adding several new features such as Active Pen and fingerprint security through Windows Hello. The 2-inch minus 1 notebook is based on Windows 10. It will be showcased at CES 2018 and be made available across select countries, including US, in Q1 2018. There is no update on the pricing of the hybrid laptop. Paytm Payments Bank on Saturday said it has partnered Inducing Bank to introduce a facility to create a fixed deposit when the customer balance exceeds rupees. 1 lakh at the end of day. The company says Paytm Payments Bank customers can redeem their deposits instantly, anytime without paying any pre-closure or miscellaneous charges and can earn up to 6.85% annual interest, the company said in a statement. Additionally, if a customer becomes a senior citizen before the maturity period, the account will be auto-renewed under the senior citizen scheme, thus earning higher interest, it added. Majority of Indians prefer safe or investment options that offer them higher earning potential. Our offering will add the much-needed convenience of zero paperwork, instant redemption and no charges to one of India's most preferred investment methods, Paytm Payments Bank MD and CEO Renu Sati said. Cab-hailing major Uber is relaunching its auto service in India, almost two years after shutting down the offering in March 2016, starting with Bengaluru and Pune. The US-based company, which is locked in an intense battle with homegrown player Ola, will allow customers to book auto rickshaw rides through auto option on its platform later this month in these two cities. Ola, which also allows booking auto rickshaw rides under its auto service, had launched the offering in Bengaluru and Chennai in 2014. Ola Auto is currently operational across 73 cities with over 1.2 lakh autos associated with the company. An Uber spokesperson said the company had paused the service to see how that side of India's transport ecosystem evolves. Samsung has launched a massive 4K TV ahead of CES 2018. Samsung's new TV is called The Wall and is being pitched at the world's first modular TV. At 146 inches, Samsung's The Wall uses micro-LED technology for display. Apart from the 146-inch 4K TV, Samsung, at CES 2018, has also unveiled the Q9S 8K LED TV that comes with more pixels and AI inside. The massive 85-inch TV features a proprietary algorithm to upscale lower resolution video for its super high vision display. Samsung is also upgrading its 2018 smart TV platform by adding its Bixby AI voice assistant along with integrated SmartThings technology. Additionally, Samsung has introduced a lot of technology into its new 2018 TVs, which includes HDR10 Plus support for Xbox One X. Intel has formally taken the wraps off its highly anticipated new line of core CPUs featuring Radeon Vega graphics processors integrated onto the same physical package. Intel first announced its collaboration with AMD in November 2017, confirming months of rumors. Details of one such CPU model were inadvertently published on Intel's own website last week before being taken down, and now we know that there will be five models in total, aimed at both laptops and desktops. 
Dell and HP will be the first to launch new 2-inch minus 1 laptops using these processors, but specifics will only be known when the respective companies do their own unveilings. Other companies will be announcing more products in early 2018. Intel has also launched a new line of its own compact Nuke PCs featuring the new processors and aimed at gamers. Acer has kick-started CES 2018 with the launch of a bunch of new notebooks and gaming laptops. The Taiwanese company has launched the new Acer Swift 7, which is the touted to be the world's thinnest laptop, alongside the Acer Spin 3 that has multiple modes, and the Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop. The CES stage was also leveraged to unveil the new, blue-colored Chromebook 11. Additionally, the PC maker has announced the US availability of the Predator Orion 9000 and the Switch 7 Black Edition during its CES press briefing. Both the computing devices were showcased at the IFAR 2017 last August. The new Acer Swift 7 is coming to the US in March with a starting price of $1,699, approximately rupees 107,500, while the Spin 3 will go on sale in February at an initial price of $599, roughly rupees 37,900. The Acer Nitro 5, on the other hand, will go on sale in the US with a price starting at $799, approximately rupees 50,500. Ahead of CES 2018, HP has announced the brand new Chromebox G2. The new Chromebox comes with updates, specs and features. HP had launched the last Chromebox in 2014, which means that the new device has been a long time coming. At the CES, HP is already showcasing many products with the Google's Chrome OS. Last week, it had announced its latest range of Chromebook laptops, Chromebook 11 G6 and Chromebook 14 G5. The new Chromebox by HP features the latest specifications. Chrome Unboxed has posted a rundown of the HP Chromebox G2 that reveals details regarding the device. While the base model packs the Celeron 3865U processor, the upgrade options include the 7th generation Intel Core i5-7300 processor and the latest 8th generation Intel Core i7-8650U. This means that the device packs the KB Lake processor as well as the KB Lake Refresh processor. HP's Chromebox G2 sports 16GB of DDR4 RAM along with 32GB and 64GB options for SSD storage. Amazon India is hosting the Nokia Mobile Week and Nokia 8 will be part of the Nokia Mobile Week, with discounts, cashbacks, and exchange offers on both smartphones. Additionally, an instant discount of ours. 1500 is applicable for purchases made with ICICI credit cards. It is valid on purchase of a new Nokia 6 or Nokia 8, one phone per card only. The offer started at 12 a.m. IST on January 8 and ends at 11.59 p.m. IST on January 12. Starting with the Nokia 6 offers during the Amazon India Nokia Mobile Week, the mid-range smartphone is available with an additional hours. 1000 discount on exchange of older smartphones with up to hours. 12,779 off. The Nokia 8, on the other hand, is entitled to hours. 2000 Amazon Pay Cash Back on Payment via any prepaid method on Amazon.in. The Amazon Pay Cash Back will be added to the linked Amazon account within three working days of the shipping date. Geo will announce a price cut of up to rupees 60 on its popular plans with 1 GB data per day on Tuesday, and it seems incumbent telecom operators are already preparing to nullify this step. Airtel has emerged as the first operator to revise its prepaid plans to offer more validity and data without raising prices in a bid to keep users from switching to Geo. The updated plans are priced at Rs. 448 and Rs. 509, and are available to all prepaid consumers. The Airtel Rs. 448 plan offered validity of 70 days and 1 GB of data per day, meaning a total of 70 GB size speed data. However, its validity has been increased to 82 days as part of the revision, and consequently the data allocation has been raised to 82 GB. Other benefits of the plan, such as the bundled calls, roaming outgoing calls, free 100 SMSs per day, as well as subscription to Wink Music and Airtel TV apps, remain the same as before. Subscribe and like this channel for update tech news.